Hello and welcome to the APA tutorial. This tutorial is for Windows PC users only, so if you're using a Mac, you're going to want to switch to the other video. What we're going to be using to format our paper in APA format is the Keys for Writers book, the 6th edition, right here. Um, to get started, let's turn to page 252, where you will see an example of what the title page should look like, and we're going to follow it so that ours looks exactly like this. I'd also like you to flip over to page 254 as we get started, though, because we're going to prepare the header for the body of our text first. So here's an example of what that should look like. If we scroll down here to the body of our text and we format our header, we want the title in all caps, and then we want the page number on the right-hand side. So if we click on Insert, so usually you're at home, you click Insert, and we're going to start with our page number. Click Page Number top of page and then choose the one that has the right hand side okay um, what we want to do here we'll see here we are on our second page is click right underneath the number and we want to type our s our title in caps just like in our example here on this page now we double click we get away from our header and look what happened at the top of our first page we have the same header if you look at the examples here in our handbook, you'll see that that's not correct according to APA format. The APA would like the words running head before the actual title. Now, how are we going to fix this? Well, we are going to go back in. We're going to click insert. We're going to click header. Um, and then we are going to click edit. When we do that, we get the option to have a different first page. So if we click on different first page, it erases all that information. And then we basically just have to start over. We go back to insert, we click page number, top of the page, we put it on the right hand side. We do the same thing, click underneath here, and then on the left hand side I type the words running, head, colon, double space, and then my title in all caps. Now if I double click to get away from that, notice we have running head, just like it says here with our page number on the right, but if we scroll down to the second page, notice those words running head are gone. And now we have our page number over here. Okay, what else do we need to format? Well, our title page, we need to take this down a little bit. We need to center align by clicking this center button here. Underneath our title, we need to put our name. So I'm gonna put my name, Jessica Millis, here. Underneath that, we need to put the institution where this paper was written. So in this case, I'm going to type Rhone State Community College. And that is my title page. Notice it matches up, so we can go on to our, the body of our text. Now, we need to bring this back up to the top. And if you look back, look back on page 254, you'll see that we need to make a few changes. We need to put our title once again at the top here. So I'm going to hit the Enter key one time. I'm going to click the Center Alignment button, and then I'm going to put my title. Notice that there's only going to be one space between the title and the actual body of the text. Now that we've formatted our title, we've made sure that there's one space between the title itself and the body of the text. Let's go ahead and fix our formatting. Notice we're going to need to have double spaced page. We're also going to need to indent our paragraphs. The easiest way to do that is to click here, highlight the entire text, right click with your mouse, click on this paragraph option. Here you see we have indentation. You want to click the special button and select first line so that the first line of each paragraph, as you can see down here, is indented. The next thing you want to do is take a look at your line spacing. Here, this is set at single, but we need double, so we're going to select double. You also want to make sure that this box is checked, because we don't want any extra space between the paragraphs according to APA format. Now we're just going to click OK, and the entire text is formatted properly. And that's how you format your APA paper using a Windows PC. Thank you very much.